Congressman Chris Jacobs called a four o'clock news conference late this afternoon to announce that he will not be running for re-election this fall. Two on your side's Rob Hackford was there for the announcement. He joins us in studio with those details. Rob? Mary Ellis, Jacobs cited the backlash he's received recently from within the Republican Party since announcing that he would support some gun limitations post Uvalde as well as Buffalo. And that's the main reason he is not going to be seeking re-election. Jacobs, a freshman congressman elected in 2020, also had his district cut during New York's redistricting process. NY 27 was completely eliminated, so Jacobs would have been running in a totally new district the 23rd district, which covers most of the southern tier in southern Erie County. Jacob said the barriers to re-election were just too great. He will serve out his term through November, but Jacobs did not say what's next after Washington. He left the answer to that question open-ended. I'm the only member of Congress that has done this, so the money will flow and the misinformation, uh, the half-truths, the firing up uh, will, will happen. And I, I think it will be a, a very uh, not unproductive. We, we will end this race in a worse position of dialogue in this community uh, than we would be if I decided to do it in a, along another vein. Well, Jacobs did say that with his remaining time as a congressman that he will propose federal bipartisan legislation to limit the sale of body armor and high capacity magazines and increase the age to buy a semi-automatic weapon to 21. Well, as that gun discussion plays out in Washington, however, Jacob's departure is already stirring the pot politically. North Country Congresswoman Elise Stefanik has already thrown her support behind Carl Palladino for New York's 23rd Congressional District. And there are also reports that New York Republican Party Chair Nick Langworthy could also be eyeing that seat. In the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.